So if the SolidWorks Enterprise PDM add-in is missing, so if it's either not in the uh, task pane area, or it's not listed in the add-ins here in SolidWorks at all, then it's probably not actually been installed because it's actually an option whenever you're installing the Enterprise PDM client and it could have gotten missed. So to put it back in after you've installed the client, what you can do is just go to the control panel and go to programs and features. We'll just find the Enterprise PDM installation. So we'll just select it and we want to click on change here. Now we'll use the option to modify and we'll just go through, we'll make sure we're using the Enterprise PDM editor license because that's going to enable the add-in. And there we'll have to check the add-in off in order to install it. So now if we click install, it's going to modify the installation and it will install the add-in. And we'll be able to use that once it's installed in SOLIDWORKS to be able to use our EPDM files.